Hello YouTube, RPG Don here. Today, we're going to discuss how to make characters your enemies in battle, and have the SV battle animation while in the battle. First, we will go to this website. A link to this website will be in the description. Once here, go down until you see download. Choose the zip which contains everything here, and click here. Once this is downloaded, open it up. Once here, Click the folder and click JS. Then choose plugins. To add these plugins to your game, you must go to the folder that contains your game. I will go to Computer, Documents, Games, and the name of my game. We will use Test for this tutorial. Now choose JS and Plugins. Make this window smaller and highlight your plugins and drag them to the folder. You may also highlight, right click, and copy then choose paste in the folder to bring them there. Once you have those plugins in your plugin folder, exit both those folders. Return to your software and go to your plugins or jigsaw piece button. Double click one of the rows, then click this toolbar. Search for the plugin you inserted. For me, they're at the bottom. Choose animated SV enemies. Click OK. Also, once that's done, choose another row back to the column and search for the other plugin. The first plugin will be what animates your enemies. The second plugin will allow this plugin to be compatible with your Yanfly plugins. Once done, choose apply and okay. Now that you have that done, minimize your screen and go back to your game folder. I'll go to computer, documents, games, my folder, and the name of my game. Now go to your IMG folder. Choose SV Actors. These are your different actors in the game. Double click on a picture and search until you find the animation you want. Once you find it, check the name. Once you got this name, click X and search for that name here. Click on it, rename, and copy this name. Go back and choose your SV Enemies folder. If you want to change the image of the side view enemies. If you want to change the front battle image, choose the Enemies folder. For this tutorial, we will do side view battles, and therefore, choose the SV Enemies folder. Search for the enemy you want to use, and double click it, to make sure it's the one you want. Once you know which one you want, right click it, rename, and paste the name here. This enemy should now have the name of the SV actor you want. Once this is done, exit your folder and go back to your software. Go to your database cogwheel and choose your enemies. Change maximum by 1 and choose your new enemy. Name the enemy, then double click the image box. Find the enemy you renamed. Choose OK, then apply. Next, you will need to type this keyword into the notes. I'll write this tag in a description. Click apply, then go to your troops. Make a new troop, name it, and add however many of your new enemy you want. They may look like the old enemy here, but look like the actor in-game. Choose Apply, then click OK. I'm going to now right-click my map, delete the troops here, and add the new troop that we made. Now we can test our game. Make sure to save before you test. The enemies should now look like your SV battlers and battle in the same way. This ends this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If you have any ideas of what I should make a tutorial about, or if you have any questions, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.